Simple Sarah here. Welcome to This Simple Life. Yes, I have a new channel name. I'm so super excited about it. I actually wanted to wait until um, the first of the year to post a video about me changing my channel name, but I did the introduction video last night. I actually stayed up pretty late doing that, and then I uploaded it. Well, then I showed my husband, and he was like, when are you going to change it? When are you going to upload the intro video? And I said, I was thinking like the first week of January. He was like, no, no, change it now, change it now. I like that channel name better. So it actually came to me. I kind of wanted it to be, wow, January 1st, um, 2021, new channel name and all of that. But I don't know. It was good to go ahead and change it and just get it done. But yeah, um, I was at the park with the kids one day. It's been like probably a month or two ago. I mean, this has been stirring for a long time in my heart to change the channel name. And yeah, I don't know why that particular This Simple Life just came to me. It's like, that's what I want to do. I want to just, I mean, I don't want to be like a do nothing. But I mean, I just kind of want to get back to basics and things like that, share more of my heart in 2021. I want to share more about my faith, my um, journey as a mother and a wife, you know? <laughs> and so, yeah, it just kind of came to me. And then I, later that week, I looked it up on YouTube to make sure no one else had that channel name because I didn't want to steal anyone else's name. And nobody and I just could not believe it I, I like I double checked like so many times to make sure nobody else had that name and I was like I just couldn't believe it there was a lot of variations of that name like I really love the channel simply living it um I've loved her channel pretty much ever since she started I believe um but yeah I mean there was like similar type names um like maybe Simple Life or something like that. I don't remember. But there's a lot of variations of it, but not this simple life. So I was like, it's meant to be. <laughs> it's meant to be not my name. Now, changing it on Instagram was a different story. Um, I, I mean, I first I was gonna change it on Instagram, and then I was like, maybe I can't even change it on YouTube. So I went and changed it on YouTube. Easy peasy. Like it was done really, really quickly. Um, without any trouble. So I was like, wow, this is easy. And then um, I went to change it and then I changed it on Pinterest, of course. <laughs> so everything's different. This simple life. Um, I will have everything in the description box below. But Instagram was a different story and I liked it all variations of this simple life. Like this dash simple dash life. I did this underscore simple underscore life. I did this dot simple capitals all lowercase and then I was like you know what it's the hashtags the hashtags because I looked I was like there was nobody with that Instagram handle this simple life nobody with the one that I was going to go with um but I, I was like it's the hashtags and so I thought okay and I was like oh bum what am I going to change my I thought well I guess I could just put Sarah I don't know and then I was like so I ended up putting this simple life. I believe it's all over case. This simple life 86 is what I'm known as now on Instagram. I'll have everything in the description box below. I can't link anything. I don't know why I can't link stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't link my Instagram. I can't link my Pinterest, but it's all down below. If you want to follow me over on any of those things where I post on Instagram way more often, which I know right now on YouTube, I'm posting more on the daily over here this month. But yeah, so I'm super excited. So now on Instagram, I'm this simple life 86. It's all over case as far as I remember. <laughs> it's because of those darn hashtags, this simple life. And I was like, at first I was like, nobody, I don't understand this. Why I can't change it to this simple life. No one else has this name. But yeah, so I figured it out. It was a hash, it was because of all the hashtags, and so I changed it to the simple life 86 so i hope you guys will go over there and follow me over there i post way more stuff way more um like daily stuff like homeschooling mom life wife life i like to post some funny memes a few times a week i don't try to post a lot of 
I don't know. Sometimes I post political stuff, but I, I try to steer away from that kind of stuff, you know? I just, I'm not on there to offend anybody. I just really, at the point in my life, I'm just trying not to offend anybody. I feel like, I don't know, life's tough enough without adding that in as well. So I try my hardest. <laughs> in years past, sometimes I like go crazy and post all kinds of political stuff. I think everybody goes through those moments or those seasons of life, but <laughs> right now I'm trying not to do anything like that. So we just need um, I'm trying to mostly just kind of bring focus back to Christ in, in this season. So, so yes. So this simple life. So for 2021, I will still be posting. So what I'm going to be posting at the beginning of January is kind of my goals for the year. My, I, I don't really do resolution, so to speak. I do a word where I feel like it's been impressed upon my heart, where I want to grow in or just something. This year was actually... The word I chose this year, I don't know if y'all guys could see it, but it was renewed. And I actually got this made. The chain is actually a pretty old chain that I really love. It's actually given to me years ago. It was actually my husband's grandma's um, chain. It's got little tiny hearts on it. I love it so much. And then this little, little deal right here. It actually, I bought it from a homeschooling mom on Instagram. Her handle is at Home and Arrows. She, um, I love all of her videos. She's also on YouTube. She films videos as well. If you guys want to check her out at Home and Arrows. And anyway, love her Instagram as well. Super encouraging. Yes. So I will be posting my new word for the year, probably the first week in January. Y'all can expect that video from me. So yes. And I will, let me think of anything else I was going to say. Hmm. What else was I going to say before I get to reading? I don't remember. I can't think of anything that I might have left out. I mostly wanted to like say, boom, I changed my channel name, which you probably have already seen. I posted that intro video late last night. Don't even know what time that went live, but it was probably pretty late. So maybe some of y'all have seen it. If not, you're seeing it now when I post this video. So anyway, today we are reading from the book of Micah. We are still reading about the foretelling of Christ's birth, of Christ coming to the world. So in, we are in Micah 5, 2 through 5. And if you're just now joining me on these videos, I do read from the King James Bible. Um, Micah 5, verses 2 through 5 is the verses we'll be reading. And I always post them in the description box below the verses I'm reading today. So if y'all want to go back and read them later, read the whole chapter, or if you want to write them, I am in this, um, scripture writing, um, kind of a thing on Instagram going around. I think they, we all kind of feel the need to kind of bring the focus back to Christ this season more than ever. I think we really feel that need now more than ever. And so I have been writing my scriptures. Sometimes I do it kind of late at night. Like last night, I probably did do it till like midnight. Yeah, so those were the verses for yesterday, Isaiah 53, 3 through 7, and that was, I think, the first day. That was the third day, and then Micah will be the fourth day. So, yeah, I will get that done at some point today. <laughs> I will write those down. I think it's really good. I've never been a person that just writ wrote a bunch of the Bible down on paper, and so it's really neat. I've, um, I think they're is something to that about writing it down. It kind of even more impresses it upon your heart and your mind to write it down, actually. I've actually seen a lot of people on Instagram that have done that for years, where them they might take like a few months and write the whole book of John or First John and all of that. Or sometimes they might write Ephesians or books like that. I haven't seen any, I have seen people write a bunch of Psalms down. I haven't seen anybody write a whole bunch of the Old Testament. Those books are pretty long. Um, but I do think it's really good to, I don't know, it does do something I feel like in your heart to just to have it like extra, like writing it down. So I've really been enjoying this month so far. No, this is only the fourth day. <laughs> I've only done it three days. But I've really been enjoying it so far, just actually writing the, the words down themselves and I really like I just have a play notebook that I got from Target years ago and I kind of left it blank for a long time I don't know why I have like 
um, different things. I will, I started wanting to read the Bible through maybe a couple of years ago. And so I would write like little notes and then, and then I went through and I guess I was going to write whenever I came to God's will verses, like God's will for my life verses, or if it's at the will of God, then I'm going to write those down. And then I was going to write what God is or who God is, <laughs> but I never wrote anything down. I think I ended up doing like a Bible study instead of reading the Bible through. And then I was going to write about things about me. Like in, it says in Genesis 127, and I said, I am made in the image of God. That was the only one I wrote down. So apparently I didn't get very far on that little journey either. <laughs> so yeah, so apparently I was going to have all these things. Um, I probably spent like maybe seven or $10 on this Target notebook. It's, it's pretty nice and sturdy and I liked it so much. I think I did it after I got, I bought it after I bought this Bible. So yeah, <laughs> I had kind of a thing going there, but yeah. So maybe I'll go back and write those verses and maybe share them with y'all because I really like the, what I am to God. I think that really brings it back to we mean something to God. Each one of us means something to him. And, you know, the fact that we are made in the image of God. And I would love to just fill the, that page up with things about us, things about me personally. And then I've kind of seen things at different Bible bookstores. Like they'll say things about me, like I am um, chosen. I am loved. I am I don't remember. I don't know if they actually give verses, but it's really, really cute and I like it. And so I kind of, I guess, was doing my take on that, like going through the Bible. But of course, I didn't make it past Made in the Image of God. So maybe that'll be my goal for 2021 is to kind of write those verses down. I think that would be a good idea, especially since I started it. <laughs> anyway, um, the verses today come from the book of Micah, Micah 5, verses 2 through 5. But thou... Bethlehem Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Therefore will he give them up, until the time that she which travaileth hath brought forth, then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel. And he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God and they shall abide for now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth and this man shall be the peace when the Assyrian shall come into our land and when he shall tread in our palaces then shall we raise against him seven shepherds and eight principal men so those are some more verses about the foretelling of Christ being born in Bethlehem those are very good. I've really been enjoying finding all the verses um, of the foretelling. I honestly did not know all of them. And so I love the fact that, that these are all verses pertaining to his coming. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not going to ramble on today. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you are having a really good holiday season. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye. Love you.